Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video we are starting with the Rolly Winkler update. So his coach, Ahmed Ashkanani, right here uploaded a photo of Rolly Winkler. It is a current photo, and also he's asking us a question, actually he's asking us to guess which show will Rolly do, and I'm sure whichever show it is, it's gonna be soon. It's gonna be one of the shows that are upcoming in the next couple of weeks, because he looks a couple of weeks out. I watched that YouTube video with Larry Wills and Rolly Winkler and Rolly says he's back in the gym for two weeks. He also DM'd Nick Strength and Power and told him that he hasn't been training for like a few months. And I'm just confused, why is he saying that? I don't think it's the truth and even if it is, he looks like he has been training all these years since he competed last because he looks like he made progress. I mean, he doesn't look any worse and he looks better even. I mean, he looks full and really ripped. Now, Rolly is not exactly known for consistency with conditioning. The only time he was super peeled with his newly added mass was 2018. After that, he was never really super on. He did Arnold Classic, Arnold Classic Australia, Mr. Olympia 2019 and so on. And he was never really conditioned like he was back in 2018. This year, will he be conditioned enough? I don't really know. I mean, this 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 photo right here doesn't really give us too much information because the lighting here is just absolutely insane. Everybody looks great under this lighting in or in Kuwait. Uh, so he could be off again. I don't know, but he doesn't look like that. I mean, if I had to say anything based on this photo, I mean, look at the veins on his shoulders, for example, and look at the chest striations, and also look at the, the abs and the midsection, the small waist. Like, he has that stomach really uh, sucked in and flat, and uh, I don't know, he probably didn't eat for a while, because it just looks really good. I mean, for, for a guy of his size, I mean, that stomach looks really aesthetic, no bubble gut uh, on sight, nothing even close, nothing resembling a bubble gut, so he, uh, he looks really good in the midsection area. And upstairs, he looks just as big as usual, even more conditioned than usual, so he is bringing it. I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not asking is he gonna win the show that he decides to do. He is obviously gonna win whichever show he decides to do. Is he gonna win the Mr. Olympia? That's more like, that's the question. I think it's very possible. Why not? Why not? 2018, he beat everybody except for the two guys that most likely won't be competing this year. Sean Rodden and Phil Heath. Everybody else, he wiped out. Yeah, those guys are better now, like Big Ramy, like Brandon Curry, and the others are just much better today. But I'm sure Rolly made some progress. I mean, he hasn't been competing, so he had a good off season, and that probably means he made some progress. Will it, will it be enough for him to become the Mr. Olympia champion? It's all about the conditioning, really. I mean, Rolly, he has all the size. He has everything, really. It's just a matter of, will he bring it? Will he be super ripped? If he does bring the conditioning with his size, his symmetry, his completeness, I think he can win the Mr. Olympia. Right now, he looks absolutely amazing. And whichever show he decides, he decides to do, he will ruin some people's plans and kill some dreams. For sure, whichever show he decides to do, there is no bodybuilder that can beat him. I don't know if Phil Heath is doing any shows, he could be a challenge to Rolly, but probably not. I don't think so. I think Rolly is winning whichever show he decides to do. And guys, tell me, what do you think? Which show is gonna be? And do you think he can win the Mr. Olympia? I think so, yeah. As you already knew, Hassan Mustafa is doing Puerto Rico that is happening in 10 days. And right now, under this great lighting here, he looks pretty conditioned. I mean, there are, again, veins and separations on his, on his delts and also on his biceps. And the chest looks separated as well. So he does look great. I don't know if this is gonna translate to the stage. We haven't really seen him ripped ever, probably. And Puerto Rico Pro, I mean, Akim Williams is doing it. And he is top 6 Mr. Olympia. So, yeah, he needs to be really freaking conditioned to beat him. But I, I guess even if he doesn't beat you, even if he doesn't win Puerto Rico Pro, he will get a qualification by, uh, by points standing. Because he has a lot of points. I mean, he competed many times and he says he's not stopping until he gets the, the qualification. So I don't know if he's gonna be just keep trying until he wins the show so he can be sure he gets the qualification or is he gonna do it with the points, but I don't think anybody else is gonna have more points than him. So Puerto Rico Pro in 10 days, Hassan Mustafa right now looks conditioned, he looks better than the previous time I saw him in the gym. 
So I hope he's gonna get even more tight and uh, I don't know about the rest of his body I don't know about the glutes and the hamstrings. That's usually where you can see how conditioned or not conditioned he is That's a problematic area for not just for him for every bodybuilder really and I, I know I never saw his glutes like peeled and hamstrings So hopefully he will get that done I can't really expect much because I think he had enough time to do that until New York Pro and then also California Pro, he didn't do it, he had more time to Puerto Rico, so if he doesn't do it now, I don't know if he ever will, I mean, I don't doubt he's working hard, being at this level, it's not just genetics and gear or whatever, it's a lot of hard work for sure, so I'm sure he's pushing it to the max, it's probably just his genetics, he's probably just unable to bring the conditioning. I hope that's not really the case. Hopefully he just didn't have enough time and now with more time he will do it. If he does it with all the mass that he has, yeah, he can be he can be strong second spot. I don't really see him beating Akim Williams. Akim Williams is just amazing right now. But maybe another show, maybe after that he has other shows, maybe he can win another show, I don't know. But yeah, it seems like this year he is not winning any pro shows, but he will qualify on points. Maybe next year he can win the show. Or maybe he will beat the Kim Williams, I don't know, but if I had to guess, I think he will not win a show this year. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. And the best news I said for the end, it's probably not news for you because it's been one day since they published this and we have an official list for the 2021 Arnold Classic. And it is an amazing lineup, really good lineup. It really, it really made up my day. I mean, when I saw this, I was really amazed, I was really happy. This is gonna be an awesome contest, so we have Lionel Biecki, we haven't really seen him for a long time and this guy has genetics to be the Mr. Olympia winner if he brings the conditioning. William Bonek, I saw him preparing, I was talking about him through my videos a lot, I just didn't really know he's gonna be doing the Arnold this year, but he always does it basically, so no surprise really. Max Charles, not really a contender to win the show, but yeah, he always brings good conditioning and a freak factor, so awesome to see that. Uh, Song Chul Lee, Mohamed Delaman, Steve Kuklo is also coming back, we haven't seen him for a while and he is a tall, huge guy, it's always a pleasant surprise to see him on stage, Cedric McMillan is coming back, after his injury he broke his collarbone and uh, his uh, wrists or something like that, his hand uh, bones, something like that, now he's coming back and I also posted a couple of photos of him, he has been coming back for a while and he regained all the mass that he lost during the surgery and not being able to train for a while, so now he's coming back to the Arnold Classic stage and hopefully he will really try and bring the conditioning, if he doesn't I don't really have high hopes of him, but if he does he can win this show, Hassan Mustafa, I don't see him winning the show, but he's gonna be a strong top 6 I guess, Sergio Oliva Jr., I don't know how much he progressed, but based on that last photo that I posted in my last video, he looked amazing, and he still has a lot of time to progress until Arnold Classic, so he, I mean, he, last time at the Arnold he was 5th, so could he win it this year? It wouldn't be really something that I would expect to happen, but I don't think it's impossible. Justin Rodriguez, not really a winner potential, but a top 5 potential for sure, Ian Valier. I don't know what to expect from this guy, but I know he has been putting a lot of hard work in, I know that he's 100% focused on bodybuilding, so I know he's gonna be better than last year, where he was 7th at the Mr. Olympia, so I wouldn't be too surprised to see him beat, for example, William Bonac and Cedric and Sergio, because these guys, they're not exactly like Mr. Olympia winners or whatever, I mean, uh, William Bonac, yeah, he was 2nd one year, but he was 5th, that's only 2 spots, between him and, and Ian, so if he doesn't really improve, and Ian does, he can beat him, he can win the Arnold Classic, I can definitely see Ian winning the Arnold Classic, Akeem Williams, I can see him winning it too, probably not as much as the other guys, but if I was a, a betting man, I would bet on William Bonac, that would be the safest bet to win this show, and then I would probably go with uh, Cedric, also Sergio and Ian, and Steve Kukla is there, so it's really a good lineup, a lot of great bodybuilders, they're all out of like top 4 at the Mr. Olympia, for now, this is the lineup, and uh, anybody can win this show basically, except for some guys, I don't see Max Charles, uh, Song Chul Lee or Muhammad Alaman winning it, the others, they can do it, it can happen, Justin Rodriguez probably not, and Hassan probably not, the other guys, 
yes, I can see them all winning this show, so it's gonna be an amazing lineup, maybe until it happens, maybe we're gonna have some other names, some other Mr. Olympia competitors that are gonna jump in, we'll see, I mean, it may happen in the last moment, but as for now, this is an amazing list, and I can't wait for this Arnold Classic to happen. It's interesting that right now they posted only four categories, so we have open bodybuilding, classic physique, bikini and fitness so that's it four divisions and i think that's awesome those are the most popular divisions so why not and uh, i'm not gonna talk about bikini and fitness because i don't think a lot of my followers follow those divisions this is about bodybuilding so i'm gonna talk about uh, classic physique now and we have alex cambronero a former classic i don't know classic winner defending his title also here logan franklin he was, what, 8th at the Mr. Olympia, ninth, something like that. Brian Jones was top 6 at the Mr. Olympia. Courage Opara is a great bodybuilder. Terence Ruffin, runner-up at the Mr. Olympia, is probably the favorite here, let's be honest. It's between him and Alex Campornero if you talk about favorites, because Alex won the Arnold Classic and Terence beat him at the Mr. Olympia when he was second, and Alex wasn't really on. So if Alex is on and also Terence is... It's gonna be a tough battle, but I would go with Terence rather than with Alex, because he you're only as good as your last show, as the old saying goes. And also we have Danny Yunen, who made a lot of progress last year, so he can also win this Arnold Classic, I think so. Yeah, he looked amazing at the last show he did, he won. So I would have to go with Danny Yunen, Terence Ruffin and Alex Campronero uh, for the top three. We'll see who's gonna end up victorious here. But this is going to be your, probably your top 3 and this is Arnold Classic Classic Physique. And that's going to do it for this video guys. Tell me what do you think about the Arnold Classic lineup, who do you think is going to win the Open, who's going to win the Classic and also tell me what do you think about Rolly. Is he going to be competing in any shows that, that are coming in these next couple of weeks? Puerto Rico Pro, Chicago Pro? What do you think? Is he going to win the Mr. Olympia later on? Is he going to do Arnold Classic maybe? Whatever your thoughts are, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe for more videos like this. All the best guys and bye bye.